Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, man, yeah, you was talking about uh, Atlanta doing rap in Atlanta. Dog. You've been rapping for a minute, bro. Like, how early did you even start? Man, I've been rapping since I could just pretty much walk and talk, bro. Like, I knew, you know, from, I, I say a lot in a lot of interviews, man. When I first seen your MTV raps, and when I seen Rap City, that's when I knew that's what I wanted to do. From the whole culture, my whole influence on lyricism and everything, man, you know, it come from East Coast culture. You know what I mean? Like, that was the first things that I seen, the way they dressed, the way they, the way they just did everything around hip hop. Hip hop in itself was the wardrobe, the way you dress, the way you rap, the way you deliver raps. All of it was in sync from the jewelry, everything, man. I've been buying jewelry since middle school, so, you know. And that been my thing, you know. I always knew once I just seen Big Daddy Kane, once I seen Nas, once I seen Tupac on Brenda's Got a Baby. Hmm. Like, I used to implement that shit. I would see the shit that them niggas wore, and I would get that shit. Like, even me going to school out here, motherfuckers didn't know where I was from. Damn, niggas, you from NY, where you from? Because I I just, I was heavily influenced by hip hop. Yeah. And I just knew that that's, I, I played basketball. I was good at basketball. I played a lot of sports. Art, graffiti, tag, and all that shit with hip hop. I was a hip hop baby. That was my thing. And you was you was what using dead end over there? Yeah. So my my dad is from dead end. My mom is on the north side. So both my families from both sides. And um, growing up, I was always in dead end. And my mom was like, "Nigga, you not going to school out there at all." My older brother and everybody, we pretty much would get split up. I would be on the north. My brother would be on the south. When I'm not in school, I'll be back in South Park, and I'll always be out there. And then the younger the younger generation in my family, all of the, the kids my age was on this side, and all the older kids was on that side. So my brother will be out here. I'll go out here to school. My brother will stay out here. And it'll, it'll be, I'll be back out here staying, and then I'll be so pretty much the best of both worlds. I'll be on both ends, bro. Yeah, but he, but in dead end, though, because you, uh, who you related to over there is it, uh, not 380D in them. Yeah, them, them my OGs and my uncles. 380D, Run G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all them no Run shit. G over, over, over Dead End Records and all that. Yeah, them my uncles. No shit. Okay, yeah. so you, so you, did you get to grow up and like see them when they was kind of doing their thing? I was around all that shit. I was, I, I say a lot. Like I knew the screwed up click when it was just street niggas, before the rap shit. All them niggas. I'm nigga Patton Hope was right across in Kennedy Heights. We right here off of Mad Lane and Tavano and Crestmount Village. We'd cross over the bayou. They them niggas would be I would see them niggas every day. Hmm. I seen all them niggas every single day. Them niggas we had we call ourselves the garage gang. <laughs> Everybody would come right off far way to my granny house. My granny house was the hood. That's why everybody was. The whole everybody. So who is it? Anybody that's like that we might that anybody that we might know that like grew up to be anybody that was around y'all at the time, like in your age and dead end at the time. I mean, I know the yeah. older, the screwed up generation, but yeah, I'm saying man, like from around everybody. Flip, Flip dated my cousin, my cousin T. Lynn. That was his girlfriend, his high school sweetheart. Hmm. So I would see Flip all the time growing up. Hump right over there in Hillwood, Cloverland, Botany Boy, C Note, Dirty Red. Nigga, everybody, Smudge, Gator, Lil' Head, Third, Nigga, Pat, Hawk, KK, Corey Blunt. Them niggas know me directly. They watch me from here to here. They didn't never knew that I rap. Everybody around that didn't know that I rap. That's, I just was the nigga that draw. That's what I was going to ask. And that's and what screw, I was going to ask, yeah. I knew Screw personally. Right when Screw was in Broadway, right off before the house, before the house, Close by Govgate, when he was in Broadway, all that shit. Like, I really knew that shit from, I, I watched that shit from here to here. I watched it all. So how did you end up getting to, to meet uh, Screw? So I got my name, who named me, how I got the name Kaleon. I, I would go by my graffiti name, KR Felon. That was my tag, graffiti shit. So I would, them niggas would always want me to draw pictures. I would draw pictures of all them niggas, like Hawk and Pat, them would want me to draw pictures. I would draw pictures and screw with C when my brothers and uncles and 3A and Tobe and Lil' No, Laro and all them niggas would go over there to school house and shit. This before I even knew anything about what all was really going rapping. on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so even with Mike D in the round, when Mike D and 
would be around and everybody around. That's how I got my name. Screw would see me drawing. And Screw was like, nigga, I'm finna start making covers for like my CDs and my tapes. So I started, I would, I would make like, I would cut out like an actual four pounder and I would draw shit and I would present it to Screw. Screw even had some of my shit over his turntables. No shit. Yeah. These are facts. Them niggas will tell you. That. So what, what, this is what, no rap cap. This this really was the real shit. Like, so, so what's your impression of DJ Screw like when you meet him? Like, Screw was quiet. Screw hmm. ain't really do no whole lot of talking. When I was around, Screw didn't do no talking. And for me knowing, even when he even went to Mo City, when he had his house in Mo City right before he died and all this shit, a nigga been around that long. I been around and seen it all. Even from that, knowing everybody in the street military. Like on the north side, I grew up around D from Trinity Garden Cartel, Ice Water Slaughter, KB the Kidnapper, all them niggas sold. My mom house off of Weaver, Marjorie house was right off down from Lavender, so. What is, okay, I don't know shit about the north side. So Where's Weaver, yeah, what neighborhood is it? So that? Weaver's in Trinity Garden. Okay. So that's that's in Trinity Garden. So that's where my mom, mom was off in Trinity Garden. And nigga, I'm, it, it was inevitable for me to rap, cause nigga, when I first even knew Slaughter and my brother went to school together, and them was my brother friends, Ice Water Slaughter. This when they was Trinity Garden Cartier. This when it was D and, and Slaughter and shit. Them niggas would be right there off Weave and Raw North chilling. Kenny Boo would be right. This when Kenny Boo was thriving in um when Kenny Boo was thriving in Wish Street Military. Marja House was down the way. Them niggas are always be over there. And them niggas knew me from being over here and in South Park too. So I was connected through that and then through the hustling and shit, you know. I tell niggas a lot, I didn't grow up struggling. If my mama and my dad struggled, I never knew nothing about that. And I was around hustlers my whole motherfucking life. So I, I, I always straddled the fence. I was one foot in, one foot out. So I would see this shit every day, all day. And then we would connect the South with the North on the hustle shit, on the street shit. And that's how we really connected the two and I'm around this shit, my brothers and uncles, everybody hustling and I'm seeing the fast money. This is what I want to do, but I also want to rap and then I would want to hoop too. So it's like my mind really all over the place on what it is I want to do, but growing up around all this shit, it's like to, these, to everybody, these niggas was something and then- Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston.